Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my summer hygiene routine. A quick couple of disclaimers before I start this video. If you do not like to hear about like certain body parts, please don't watch this video. If you don't like to hear how to clean those certain body parts, please don't watch this video. If you are very sensitive about those body parts or feel uncomfortable with those body parts, please don't watch this video this video is gonna be very informative and it's just like to help other people you know everybody does everything different to their body you might do something different you might do something different from what I do from what everybody else does so this is just what I do to keep my body fresh and my hygiene and um, yeah I know everybody might not like what I use you know that's perfectly fine like I said everybody is different and please Please, if you're a dermatologist, a gynecologist, or a doctor, and I'm doing any of these things that are in this video, if it's wrong, please let me know in the comment section. Again, if you are a gynecologist, a dermatologist, or a doctor, and I'm doing something absolutely wrong, please let me know. But without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The summertime and it's really really like hot here in Florida I live in Florida so you know like the heat is real so yeah um, let's just get started with what I do when I first wake up so when I first wake up I like to brush my teeth and I use um, the oral B toothbrushes they come in a two pack if you're trying to save a little bit of money these are medium and this is the oral B um, innovative clean so it comes in a two pack and remember you should be replacing your toothbrushes every three months or whenever you get sick and I use these um they're called I have the pack right here they're called Steri Pods, and you should replace these three months as well I'm sorry I just hit my camera you guys you should replace these every three months as well right now I have the blue one that I use on top of my brush and what this does is help it to sanitize your toothbrush so it doesn't get germs or dirt or dust or any of those things on your toothbrush because you don't want that on your toothbrush and for toothpaste I use the Colgate optic white um it's not the best but it helps to get your teeth clean so I mean, I'm not big on toothpastes, like I switch between, but I like to stick to Colgate or Crest, and I like to stick to like Oral-B for my toothbrushes. And um, for floss, this is the Oral-B Pro Glass. So I just floss at nighttime, not during the day, because at nighttime you have a lot more time to like get in, you know, in the morning time when you're getting ready for work, you might not have that much time. And the biggest, biggest thing that has really saved my teeth from like not getting cavities because every time I go to the dentist like they say my teeth look good it's just that I need to floss this is the Listerine Total Care Fresh Mint mouthwash this has literally saved me I've been using this for like two years now or a year or something like that and it helps prevent cavities restores your enamel E enamel strengthens your teeth bad breath and it cleans your whole mouth so when I get done brushing my teeth I like to rinse this in my mouth and this will literally save your teeth like if you eat like a lot of sweets and stuff like that and you don't want your enamel to break down like if you want to save your teeth like definitely purchase this mouthwash this has like really saved my life just ladies brush your teeth because I mean, it's very important for you to have fresh breath, nice smelling breath when you go out there and talk to people. So let's just get started on what I do on my body. So I do use a washcloth to wash my body. I don't like to use loofahs because like how are you going to clean your juice box? You know what I'm saying? You got to clean your juice box. So what I like to use as a body wash, I like to, <clears throat> excuse me, I like to use the Caress Evenly Gorgeous. This is the burnt brown sugar and carrot butter, carrot butter, something like that. I'm sorry if the light keeps going in and out. I'm filming in front of my window. I really don't have, like, good lighting. So this is the even Evenly Gorgeous. And this, oh my God, this smells so good. Like, if you have a boyfriend and, you know, you like wash your body with this like he's gonna be very intrigued this smells so 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 good and it has like exfoliating beads in it to like help your skin like 
you know stay smooth and stuff like that so I really like this body wash and I also like to use the Dove butter Dove cocoa butter is it co is it shea butter or cocoa butter I think it's shea butter but I don't know I'm not gonna show you guys but I just keep it in this little thing here I got it from Walmart it's like a soap saver you can get it in the travel section aisle I also like to use the um Dove body bar because it's moisturizing so I really like to use both of those things together and for my juice box I like to use um Vagicel because you know it just helps with like odor and when you're on your monthly like on that time of month you know you want to stay extra fresh and remember you're putting this like on the outside you're not putting this on the inside you want to just wash the outside you know you want to get in between yeah you just want to get everywhere because you know you want to be fresh you want to smell good so yeah I get the um I get this from Walmart I was using Summer's Eve but I felt like Summer's Eve really wasn't helping so I just switched over to Vagicel and I like this one I use the one with the pink strip and it's pH balanced so it won't throw off like your pH balance down there so yeah I really like Vagicel hair removal let's talk about hair removal it's the summertime and you know when you have hair you sweat and when you sweat you have odor and we don't want odor I like to use the Nair um, hair remover lotion and this one I use it for my body this is the cocoa butter scented one and it smells really good I put it on my arms I put it on my legs I used to shave I used to shave all the time but as of recently I had to stop shaving because I had a um I got a boil under my arm because I guess I cut myself and it got infected so when I went to the doctor she told me to stop shaving now that's just for me if you like to shave continue to shave but if you don't like to shave and you want more of a clean cut looking kind of shave or hair removal you use Nair and you can get this at Walmart so I put it on my legs under my arms and it just like gets the hair off leave it on for like five minutes or so how long three minutes always read the instructions because you don't want to burn your skin I leave it on for three minutes and then I take a cloth or like a paper towel and I wet it and I wipe it off and then I continue with my shower but I like to do this before I shower I like to do this before I shower because you know I feel like you know once you wipe it off you can just hop in the shower oh I am stuffy now let's talk about shaving not shaving let's talk about hair removal on your juice box now shaving down there could have its pros and its cons it could be hair free but then again you can get razor bumps you can get you can cut yourself and get infected and then end up with a big ass boil under your you know like you don't want that so I recommend the Nair bikini cream now this is the sensitive formula and I tell you you will not feel anything like you won't feel anything like you cut you like you put it on let it sit there for six minutes sometimes I do like 10 but that's just me but um it says don't exceed 10 minutes so I leave it on there for 10 minutes and then I wipe it off and I you know hop in the shower but if you have like a lot of hair down there what I could suggest is getting a pair of scissors like buy a pair of scissors strictly for your like hair removal routine because that's what I did you buy a pair of scissors and you cut the hair down like really low and then you put this on because if you have a lot of hair this is going to take forever it's going to take forever because it has to penetrate and really remove the hair so I suggest you cut your hair down a little bit like you just trim it you know you don't have to cut it off completely you just trim it down a little bit put this on there and leave it on for like 10 minutes and honey when you rinse it off like yeah but if I could suggest anything I suggest getting it waxed because I got mine waxed and it lasts for a long time but the waxing place that I went to I really wasn't satisfied so I'm gonna continue to look for another Brazilian wax place but if I could recommend the best hair removal for your juice box area I recommend waxing so yeah but if you don't have a waxing center near you this is the next best thing near bikini cream like you know hair removal lotions or anything like that 
you can use um, shaving cream in shavers. I mean razors. So the shaving cream that I like to use is the Gillette Venus Olay Cash. This is vanilla cashmere and it's very like smooth and it really like it's really smooth and it helps to really glide the razor blade along your skin. I use the Equate brand um what are these? The twin blades. Now I really don't recommend these because I mean you're gonna cut yourself with these down there, you know what I'm saying? I re I mean if I were you I would invest in like a higher quality razor. You know, this is just this is fine for your body on your arms, but for like if you like to shave your your um juice box area, I recommend investing in a higher quality razor, not using like these cheap razors because you don't want to cut yourself. But yeah, you just get ten of these razors for like less than five bucks at Walmart. So I just keep them, you know, for people or whenever I have to shave my legs. If I don't feel like, if I don't have time to nair my legs, because, you know, that does take time, I will use my razors. But I do not shave under my arms anymore. And so in the shower, I like to use my Body Shop Wild Argan Oil Rough Scrub. And I have a video on this. It's pretty old. Um, You guys should go watch it. It's like a skin, it's like a body haul that I bought some things from Ulta. And um, this body scrub, it just smells so good and it really like gets your skin clean and exfoliated like i really love 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 this body scrub now we're going to talk about when we get out of the shower so when i get out of the shower i like to moisturize my skin i was never really big on lotion to this day i really don't like to put lotion on my skin unless i'm really going somewhere i put on lotion but if i'm not going nowhere i don't put on lotion but um I like the Body Shop Body Butters, and this one is in the same one as the um, scrub. This is the Argan Oil one, and this just provides your skin with a lot of moisturization. It's really um, thick, so it's going to really penetrate your skin and give you a lot of moisture. So, yeah, um, I'm not really big on lotion, like I said. I only lotion my body like when I'm going out. Like, if I'm just showering and I'm in the house, I don't put on lotion. I'm going to be 100% honest. But, you know, when you do go out, you don't want to be ashy. So, I do apply that to my body whenever I'm going out in public. But, for you girls who don't like lotion, don't have the time, don't feel like it, I recommend a spray-on lotion. This is the St. Ives Spray-On Lotion. And this is natural, I think. It has oatmeal and shea butter. And you just crack. You just crunk the top and you spray it and then you just rub it in just like that and you're out the door for you girls who just don't like to use lotion you invest in a spray on lotion deodorant deodorant is very very crucial in this type of weather in the summertime throughout the year throughout the day deodorant is very very crucial the deodorant that I've been using for years now is Secret. Now this one is busted up, so I'm not really going to show it, but I use the Vanilla, it's called Vava Va Vanilla Scent. But here's a nice, clean, fresh one. This is the Secret Paris Romantic Rose. I absolutely love this deodorant. I've been using it for years, and they're cheap. You can get like the double pack at Walmart, or you can get them separately. So yeah, please ladies, put on deodorant. And they have all different prices. You know, they have deodorant from a dollar up to freaking, what's the highest I've seen deodorant for? The highest I've seen deodorant was 11 bucks. So any, you know, if you are, are on a budget, you can easily just get a dollar um, deodorant. Body sprays. Like that um, deodorant that I showed you, they have the secret body mist. Is this? Yeah, the body mist. This is in Romantic Rose Paris. And it cranks, it cranks just like that. And you can just spray it all over your body when you get out of the shower. So I like to use like body mist when I get out of the shower. And then the next one is Pink, Pink Fruit Passion. Pink Fruit Passion. Pink Passion Fruit. And I did, I did talk about this in my Victoria's Secret haul. So you guys should watch that as well. But yeah, I just love the way how this smells and it just keeps your body fresh and clean and smelling really good so let's talk about when you 
you know put on your underwear so when i put on my underwear i like to use these um kotex um light day liners because they you know you just want to keep fresh all day and i pop like i put a couple of them if i'm going to work i put like a couple of them in like my little carry bag so that i can have like you know a couple liners to change throughout the day to keep me fresh and these please like i said if this stuff grosses you out oh my god please don't watch but this is what they look like they're just regular panty liners you just put them in your panty and you're good to go so to stay fresh throughout the day um i like to use these summer's eve cleansing cloths and these are the sensitive ones and you just take one or two and drop them in your purse or drop them in your little carry thing because i do have like a little hygiene bag in my purse yes i'm very much like i like everything to be a1 so i like to keep like a little hygiene bag in my purse so i drop one or two of these and you can just use this whenever you use the bathroom you know especially when you're on time of month you go ahead and you you know clean yourself up with these wipes just to stay and feel fresh throughout the day and what i also like to use is um huggies baby wipes because you know baby wipes get you know babies clean so i like to use the cucumber and green tea as that is it for my summer routine you know my summer hygiene routine and i really hope you guys enjoyed it was very informative and detailed so if you guys have any other videos that you guys want me to film please leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more videos leave any requests down below and rate and comment and i'll see you guys in my next video bye